Something that is interesting in the Aspen High Seas is that when we add a vessel in the Aspen High Seas, it doesn't take into account the, the weight of the liquids to calculate the pressure at the discharge or at the outlet of the, the vessel. Okay, let me add a tank and let me add a pipe. And you will see how uh, some of the tips that we, we use when we are doing plan design. So here I have the tank. As you can see in the, I have only the low, low, low liquid level. I have no information of diameter or the total length or nothing like that. But I will connect my stream one, it's already fine. And VAP one and leak one. Okay, so this is uh, converted every time that you have uh, something uh, uh, dark colors, you are converting your process simulation. Okay, and but I can, for instance, I have 10 cubic meters. And let's suppose that it's vertical, so I have, uh, how much is it? 0 0.25. So here I will have one volume, and here I will 25%. You see that I don't have any kind of changes in my pressure at the liquid, uh, liquid one. There is any changes in my, in my, my pressure. That's uh, one, 100 meters, and I still don't have any changes in the pressure at the bottom of my, my, my equipment. So what I do to consider the length or uh, the, the, the age of the liquid when I doing calculations for a pump uh, systems? I use the pipe segments to simulate my, my, some, to simulate my vessel or to simulate my tank. What I do here, let me just to, to look more as a tank. Uh, I rotate it and I resize it in order that it looks like more as a tank. And instead of connecting to the vessel uh, with, with V100, I will connect to my pipe here. And when we are talking about pipings, it's mandatory to have a energy stream. And you can see that when you have a red Highlights in the Aspen High Seas, it tells you that something is missing, okay? So, here I have my, my virtual tank. Let's say that it is a, a virtual tank. And what are the information that I have from my schematic? Is that the, the weight of the liquid is 0 0.25. So, I will go here. I will go to ratings and I will add a pipe segment. And what is the length of this pipe segment? The length is 0 0.25 meters. In the elevation, as I am talking about uh, a, a level and I want to know what is the impact at the bottom of the, the vessel, the change elevation will be minus 0 0.25. This way, and this way, I am I take in consideration that I start in the le level zero, and I verify what is the pressure when I go down the level zero. Level zero, and the diameter it's a uh, a uh, uh, tank, so I can use, for instance, uh, just enough to compromise the pressure drop calculation. So here, I will consider that the outlet diameter is ten. 10, 10 meters and the inlet diameter can be 9.99 meters. Okay, it is carbon steel. 
the length is very short, so I can let the increments as 5, no problem, and I need to add information to heat transfer. In the, the, the process description, there is any references related to the heat leaking to the atmosphere. There is any, any reference to ambient temperature. It talks about the fluid temperature, not the ambient temperature. So in this case, uh, I will consider that the heat loss is zero. But what I want to show here and what is important to our calculations is that now I have the, uh, the vapor phase with 1.02 as informed in the process description and in the bottom of my uh, tank I have 1.044